The love affair and brutal executions of a young decorated Marine sergeant and his wife rocked a California community back in 2008, baffling detectives and NCIS agents. It's the focus of tonight's episode of NCIS, the cases they can't forget. Rocky Carroll plays the NCIS director on the CBS drama. He also hosts this real life crime series. Here's a preview of tonight's episode. Jan Piacek was a stellar Marine. The best of the best. Served in Iraq. In 2008, Jan was stationed at Camp Pendleton in California. Everyone called Jan Sergeant P or P. I was an NCIS agent. A lot of times we see a lot of dark things. In all my 18 years of investigating cases with NCIS, absent some of the crimes I've seen against children, this is one of the worst cases I've ever seen. <laughs> Yannick, I love you. I will love you for the rest of my life. To you, baby. To us. Baby, I love you so much. You have no idea. Jan and Kiana Piacek were newlyweds. They had just been married in August of 2008. Just unbelievable. You could see that love in their eyes. Eyes cannot lie. They were true loves. They were excited about building their future. They had recently purchased a house up in French Valley, about 70 miles north of San Diego. Kiana, she wanted to become a doctor, she had been accepted to medical school. Gone right after 9-11, that was when he had decided that he wanted to become a Marine. He was very proud to be a Marine. On October 15th, Jan didn't show up for work. His supervisor couldn't get a hold of him. He also tried to contact Kiana's work. She also had not shown up. Kiana's secretary called us, and we knew Immediately, something was wrong. Jan's supervisor started to get really worried and requested a welfare check at their home. Around 9.20, sheriff's deputies showed up. They found the door wide open. They walked into a house of horrors. There were two lifeless bodies in the living room. They had been shot execution style. Every room's ransacked. It looked like somebody had tried to set fire to the residence. Several of the rooms, somebody had spray painted racial slurs. Could it possibly be racially motivated? Robbery was definitely a possible motivation. It appeared there was definitely more than one killer. Kiana was my life. She was my life. What do you mean they that? What do you mean is that? It's impossible, I just talked to him. Why? What does she do? Why? What did he do? The waves of shock, the horrifying, tragic, sickening news keeps on coming and coming and coming. I wanted to find out who did this and I was gonna make them pay. This case involved torture, greed, anger, it involved double lives. NCS was going to do whatever we needed to do to assist the detectives to hunt down the people that brutally murdered Jan and Kiana. And Rocky Carroll joins us now with more on what we can expect from tonight's episode. I don't know how much more I can take. You know, it's a, it's pretty engrossing, I think. Yeah. 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 So 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 we we learned a lot from watching that tease, but what was really interesting about it is as you watch it from the first minute and you continue watching it, it unravels layer by layer like an onion. And I'm guessing there's a lot more layers to this. There are a lot more layers to this. I think one of the uh, what what I enjoy most about it coming from doing the scripted version of NCIS is now in you know our third season 
you get to really follow the uh, the emotional arc of the real NCIS agents. These are not actors. These are people who actually worked on these cases. Mm. And once these cases are either solved or put away, it still lingers with the agents. It's it's it's. I mean, it's, it's in the title. It's the cases they can't forget. So mm. to see their journey, their emotional journey, their connection to the the loved ones, the the, the, the relatives and friends of, of these murdered this murdered couple, it's all it, it it all kind of intertwines. And to watch their journey as the agents is really the thing that's interesting to me. So let's talk a little bit about season three. Congratulations! Thank Obviously, you, you, you know it's going well. The stories are incredibly interesting. What's new for season three? Well, one of the new things with season three is um, we are a little more. I'm, I'm a little more of a of a of an on-camera presence, okay. uh, a lot more of an on-camera yeah. presence this year. Uh, the first couple of seasons, I was the narrator. I was the voice behind it, um, and this year. I think we've established the fact that there was the scripted version of NCIS, and this is the real NCIS. These are we're talking about the the real agents and real cases. Right. So I have the honor of sort of being your host and your tour guide here. So um, I'm a much more of an on-camera presence. Hopefully, that'll give a little bit more of a, a of a through line and, a, and a, a little more of a link to the audience to actually come back, have somebody take you into the beginning of the second act, or you know, just sort of be your guide along the way. Because the reason these cases are hard to forget is because they're probably pretty complicated. They are very complicated, yeah. and you know, for a one-hour drama that we do, even though I think we do a pretty good job, you miss so many intricate details. Yeah. And I think that what people love about, you know, now that they've established a relationship with with NCIS, you know, the NCIS agents always say to me, "We thank you guys," because most people didn't even know what NCIS stood for before right. this. Now, so now that they understand what the agency is about. To really get into the uh, the nuts and bolts of, of cases like this, it seems like the fans they can't get enough of it. Yeah, so. yeah. And you talk about how the real life NCIS agents have these cases that they can't forget about over the course of three years. What is what has been the one or two or maybe three case that has struck you? Well, there have been there have been several. One of the cases that we um, used actually on the early episodes of NCIS back in one of the early seasons was about a marine who was poisoned at sea. He was he was poisoned by arsenic, but they don't know how the boat how how the poison got on the boat, mm -hmm. and it turned out to be one of the episodes in in our in one of our earlier seasons. This case especially is 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 really baffling, um, and kind of resonates for me because. So usually when you get to the heart of the matter, you find out that the person was murdered, that there was some, some animosity or some, you know, it was either about money or something, or, or something that they had done to someone else. This couple, uh, Jan and Kiana Piacek, were seemingly a very innocent couple. They, they just got married. They were, they were married only 67 days. Wow. They were brutally murdered in their house at Riverside. So uh, what, what I take away from it is, you know, sometimes man's inhumanity to man is, is, is still astonishes me. That's mm. that. Whatever your issue may have been with with this person and his wife, the fact that to, to go in brutally murder and torture them this way, and then as it unravels, you realize, wow, you know, to go to that length, you know, is just astonishing. Mm -hmm. you, you said to us earlier that um, if you, somebody had submitted the story that we just watched as a script for the fictional NCIS yeah. show, your producers would have been one like, our, this, this is not. Uh, one of our executive producers was like, we're going to need to tweak this a little bit because I think it's a little too fantastical because you know, it, it's got to be. So, I, and it's true. Sometimes truth is, is stranger than fiction. Right. Um, but I, I, I like the way that, that, that this is put together and, and how, it, how we unravel it. And I think we, we take the audience on a journey and, and hopefully, you know, they'll, they'll love it. So. Yeah. Well, well, we already do. Yeah, definitely. Definitely thank sparked an interest. Thank yes, you so much, thank Rocky. You, Rocky. Thank you, Rocky. Thank you. You can watch tonight's episode of NCIS, The Cases They Can't Forget, at 9, 8 central on CBS. Rocky, thank you. Thank you.